um, listening to this um, global, uh, it's the truth about cancer, a global quest. Ty and Bollinger? Tapes, yeah, and one of yes. the tapes of one of the doctors he interviewed said that um, to spread the word about glutamine, mm -hmm. that it fuels cancer cells and mm -hmm. it's worse than sugar. I've heard that. We'll use it for digestive issues, but to please not use it if you're worried about uh, fueling cancer cells because they say it's worse than sugar. That scared me, and I just wanted to. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I don't. I would like to. Ha I would like to have a talk with that person on the air, and we'll go into it. Glutamine can be used as sugar. That's why it's so important because it doesn't have the same effects as sugar. But some cells, particularly digestive cells, can use it as sugar. Cancer cells possibly can use it as a fuel too. However. To say that you don't want to take glutamine to fuel cancer completely misunderstands how cancer works. It's a doctor, with all due respect, Kathy, I don't mean yeah. to offend doctors here, it's a doctor way of looking at cancer. Cancer is an environmental issue, and by environment I mean the body's environment. You don't have to worry necessarily about fueling cancer because cancer is going to eat everything there is. You're not going to starve cancer by not eating glutamine, and you're not going to accelerate it by using it as a supplement. Okay. Now, Okay, now, glutamine is a fundamental component of the glutathione molecule. So in addition to, yes, cancer cells can use glutamine, that's true, it's also a key component of glutathione, which is your body's way of uh, fundamental uh, anti-cancer biochemical. Do you want to IV glutamine right in your blood in high concentrations? Probably not. Okay, I'm not saying that, but to say you want to avoid it is just completely, that's got to be a doctor or somebody who's in the doctor world saying that. Because so taking that, that as a supplement for digestive issues. Yes. You, if it's oh. helping them with their digestive issues, in my opinion, they need to keep taking it. In my opinion. Okay. And for a doctor to say not to, if it's helping somebody with their digestion, is just, well, they just don't understand is what I'm going to, is my take on it. Now, by the way, oh. Dr. Markle, and for listeners, there's no, there's no definitive proof that I'm right or that he's right. I'm just giving you common sense biochemistry, and he's, he's giving you his view. All right? You're going to have to take your own, you're going to have to you know, run it through your own BS or truth detector and see if it makes sense to you. I say, my position is, is that glutamine is a, is a conditionally essential nutrient that is arguably one of the most important immune-boosting nutri nutritional supplements you could take. It's also vitally important for intestinal health, and so I say take it. And cancer, I also say cancer cells are going to grow whether there's glutamine there or not, okay? That's not going to have a major impact on glutamine. This guy is saying it is, does have a major impact on glutamine, and you don't want to take the glutamine, even though it's used to make glutathione, body's primary cancer fighter, even though it's critically important for the health of the digestive system and the immune system in general. I think it's a no-brainer, but, you know, everybody's going to have to make their own decision on that. I completely disagree with what he said. Okay. Well, thank you for your take on that. I wanted okay. to get that from you. Okay. And then um, the second piece was just, um, my gosh, I do use all of your truth products, and I get stopped by people that don't even know me and nice. say, wow, you have beautiful skin. So I know I just want to compliment your products that are thank wonderful. You. And then I wanted to share that last night I had in my, oh, I have thousands of skincare products and yours by far just just thank you dr markle off, blow the rooftop off but i was using this pro peel pad that i had and i decided to use it before i would put on some products of yours and i burnt my skin and i wanted to say that between overnight putting on the omega healing cream and then this morning putting on more that most of the rash is gone but i did really Use that um, lactic acid propeal and did some damage, but your truth product and yes. specifically the Omega 6 is amazing. Thank you. I appreciate that. And, and I've been working with that particular product for a long time, so I know exactly what you're saying. Sometimes I feel like, you know, because. Dr. Markle, you're in this. You're in. You have your foot in both worlds, kind of. You're, you're a physician, and, or a, a, a doctor, and you also have. You're a woman, so you're using products. And sometimes I feel like everybody's saying these things, and so I come along and say, say, no, you got to use my stuff. And there's this jadedness. Yeah, blah blah blah. I heard it all before. That's what the last person told me. How do you get through that? How? Yeah, my you know, kid is completely transformed, and I will stop using these acid peels that are just. Well, once in a while, once in a while, or maybe use the retinol. The retinol will give you the same effect as, a, as an acid retinol's peel. Retinol is amazing. That yeah. transforms my skin. That retinol is clearly incredible. And the serum in the morning, 
also changes my makeup. It just makes your skin glow. That's awesome. I, I appreciate you saying that. Thanks so much, Dr. Thank Markle. Thanks thank for your support. You. I appreciate it. Take care. Have a beautiful thank day. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Dr. Sparkle Markle from Yale University. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. You know, we don't have any calls here, so i got about a minute and a half, and i got all of these emails that I want to get to. So I'm just going to pick, a, I want to pick one here. Uh, Glenn writes from, uh, or Priscilla writes, what can I uh, take from my many problems I have with lupus? My doctor is not helping with my symptoms. No kidding, because there's nothing doctors can do for an autoimmune disease except suppress your immune system. If how this ever got to be a strategy, a medical strategy, is beyond me, with the exception of emergencies, and occasionally suppressing the immune system from an emergency standpoint can be helpful. But if you're on prednisone long-term, or a, a steroid, an anti-inflammatory steroid drug, or a biologic, they call them now, these powerful anti-immune anti drugs, you are playing with fire. Umira, Embrel, prednisone, any of these drugs that suppress the body's defenses, you're playing with fire. If you need it for an emergency for quick, uh, to quickly relieve symptomology because you're absolutely miserable, that's one thing. But if you're on any of these drugs, your number one objection or object should be to wean yourself off. And the best way to do it is by focusing on gut health, lupus, and autoimmune diseases. Take this to the bank, folks. Take this to the bank. Lupus, autoimmune diseases, MS myasthenia gravis, whatever, if it is an autoimmune etiology, particularly if it occurs as you reach middle age, which is frequently what, occur, what happens, 100% guarantee something is getting into your blood through a leaky gut. Now, you're, I said yesterday, sometimes in the world of health and nutrition, people who are in the know via research and seeing patients and who are savvy enough to understand patterns notice things 30 years before you hear it, read about it in the New York Times or in the mainstream press. Well, I'm telling you this, folks. If you have an autoimmune disease, don't wait for two decades or three decades for it to make the New York Times. It's a digestive issue. And this is just common bio, biochemical sense. Something is getting into your blood. It's setting off the immune system. The immune system is cross-reacting with your organs and glands and structures. In the case of lupus, it's the connective tissue, and that is absolutely miserable. And a, a leading, uh, one of the ways that we, uh, uh, almost a surefire way to have an early demise. Priscilla, focus on gut health. Use the Biolumin Nightly Essence. Use the Ultimate Enzymes. Apple cider vinegar after meals. Do a food diary and an elimination diet, bone broth, the Swear V products, or any of the Jordan Rubin products, and then get on the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. we got more good health information coming at you tomorrow on the Bright Side. Have yourselves a beautiful, wonderful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.